to fill out the captain's log. Every morning I put the date, location, and the coordinates on where we are. I also put how much we spent the night before on the mooring or marina. Then I write down the voltage and current off our batteries, how much water Aquarius is carrying, And the time. Then what we do is go into the engine room, click on the bilge pump just to make sure it's working, and check the gin set hours. Look around the engine room just to make sure everything's okay. We also look and see how much fuel is on board Aquarius. Then we look at the water maker hours, the engine hours, we also have all the to-dos to do that day and you know throughout the day I'll put down what we did that day. It's breakfast time. So after breakfast we'll talk about how we use these numbers but for now I'm just going to get them all written down. Before breakfast, you saw us take a bunch of data points. And the question is, why? The place is kind of obvious. We want to know where we were. And it's a good idea in some anchorages to know exactly where you were. So that's why we use the coordinates off our GPS. The voltage and the current. The voltage and the current are important because that way we can keep track of how well our batteries are doing and our solar. And right now we're a little low, so tonight we're gonna run the generator. Water, it's always a good idea to know how much water you have on board. And time, that tells me if, you know, it's later in the day, my, volt, my battery should be more charged than if it's earlier in the day. Fuel, it's obvious why I take down the fuel every day. We also keep track of how much we spent on mooring balls or marinas and everything else we spent during the day. I put that in the log as well. So now let's get down to the gym set hours, engine hours, and water maker hours. All these data points are put into a spreadsheet, which you can see. 
and on the spreadsheet you can see that anything that turns red needs attention and this has all the oil changes for the Onan the engine uh, the transmission bow thruster just about everything on board that's the maintenance schedule for it that ends our discussion on our weekly captain's log we also have a movement log and that's done right before we move Aquarius and every time we moved Aquarius from one place to another place we have it on the log how many miles what time we departed what time we arrived on these three pages it shows our whole movement since we bought Aquarius and the first time we moved her was February 11th 2017 we also have a what we need log anytime I find that we need something I write it down in my log and then every time I go to a store that has boat parts or parts that I might need for the boat I will take this with me and look for the parts that I need we also have a who we met log so we can keep track of all of our friends and then we have a log that's a maintenance log really not a maintenance log this is a what broke log and if I find something broken or not working I write down who I need to fix it if it's me you know sometimes it takes a little longer but if I need a sail maker to repair a sail or I need a rigger to repair some of the running rigging or the standing rigging I write down who I need if it's an engine of course a mechanic and then when it gets fixed I say who fixed it how to get fixed and how much it costs and last but not least we have the do's and don'ts aboard Aquarius all written down before somebody comes on board I send them the do's and the don'ts and now we make them sign them before they come on board we also have procedures for everything we do arrival procedures departure procedures anchoring procedures they're all written down it's just like an airplane if you don't have your checklist you might forget something and when you forget things bad things happen and that's it that's how we roll if you click here you can subscribe to our channel if you click one of these you can watch some of the other videos that have to do with maintenance aboard Aquarius